Hey y'all, I'm Abby, More Than Just Skin, and welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome. I am continuing on with my collection series, and this is my face powders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, tell you a little bit about them, what I think about them, and if I would repurchase them. So if you're interested in this video, hit that subscribe button, and here we go. Okay, I'm going to start with some higher end powders that I have. Some of these are setting powders. Some of them are finishing powders. The first one is this Luminous Silk Compact Dual Fuse Powder Compact in the shade number four. This is kind of like a powder foundation. As you can see, I've hit pan on it. I'm almost finished. This was a Jaclyn Hill made me do it most definitely. It really sets your makeup. It gives you um, kind of an extra layer of coverage if you're looking for a very full coverage. So I find myself reaching for this when I'm wearing kind of a light or not kind of, but a lightweight coverage foundation. I put this on top. I definitely will not repurchase it because I think the price is ridiculous and I think there are other powders out there that I like just as much, but I have enjoyed this powder. Next up, probably my favorite high-end setting powder is by Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder, and I have it in two medium. Now, one thing I will say about this powder, this shade in particular, this shade is perfect for me to set my face. I tried to set my under eye with it, and I think I would need one shade lighter to set my under eye, so I don't really set my under eye with this powder. I will tell you specifically which powders I set my under eye with, but I love, love, love this powder. I don't care the price tag. I think it gives you just a gorgeous, like it says, airbrush flawless finish, and I will continue to purchase this, and the packaging is just gorgeous. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I have really used and abused this as you can see, but let me tell you how I do this. I either use this as a finishing powder, but most of the time what I do is I swish my brush in the entire thing and I really just kind of put it under my eyes and kind of on the sides of my nose to just give me a little more brightness. I don't use it as a highlighter. It just kind of gives me some illumination in those areas and I love it. I would not purchase the palette again. I most likely will purchase this shade right here um, when I run out and I will purchase it in the full size. But I do love these powders. I think they're gorgeous. However, I do think, and I didn't bring it in here. I should have. I put it with my highlighter video. But I do think the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana is a perfect dupe for these. And depending on my thoughts and my feelings when I run out of this, I may just stick with the Reserve Your Cabana because that's what I've been reaching for a lot lately. Lastly is the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in number two by Laura Mercier. Um, this powder is what you would consider a finishing powder. This is not a highlight. This is not really a setting powder. It's not really going to do anything to make your makeup last longer. It's just going to be a beautiful sheen across the face. So if you're looking for something kind of extra, that's when I reach for this. When I want a little more glow um, on my entire face, I reach for this. But it is so soft and creamy and buttery and just feels great on the skin and it really gives you a gorgeous pretty glow. And with Laura Mercier, I have a lot of loose Laura Mercier powders. The first one is the mineral powder. Now this is a mineral foundation. I have it in the shade Real Sand. I did an entire video on this. I call it the Lazy Girl Makeup. I got that from Nadine Baggett but I think that this is gorgeous and it really just looks pretty and flawless on the skin. I um, will continue to use this. I think it's great for the summer and it's just super quick and super easy. Now I have a small size of the translucent powder. I have a like deluxe sample size of the translucent powder and I have another deluxe sample size of the translucent powder. This is perfect to set your under eye. I never use this to set my entire face, although you could definitely do that, but I just find that this is perfect to set my under eye. I set my under eye daily. I also use this to carve out my contour, um, and I have to set my under eye daily so that my mascara and my eyeliner stays put, and I really attribute a loose setting powder for that. So um, then this is one of my go-tos, and I just love this powder. I also have the secret, the secret brightening powder. I don't love it as much as I love the translucent, but I can understand somebody who has drier skin and wants to set their under eye 
reaching for this one because it just gives you enough to set that under eye without being too much of a powder. So I do like this, but I can't see myself going out and purchasing the full size of it. My other loose setting powders, and these mostly, well, actually, let's talk about that. The first one that I have here is the newest one to me. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This is the only um, loose powder that I use on my entire face and my under eye. I think that this is gorgeous. I really actually like it better on my entire face. It just looks flawless on the skin. It gives your skin kind of this luminosity. It just looks so pretty without looking like powder or drying out. So I love this. This is kind of in my go-to powder as of lately. Another powder that I like for my under eye is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. If you are, have drier skin, this would be good for you because it's talc free and I just think it makes your under eye look really good. So I do enjoy using this to set my under eye. This is the Stellar Powder and I believe it's called the Cosmic Face Powder Haze. Um, I traveled with this and I liked it fine under my eyes. I don't see that it's anything great, so I'm not going to run out and purchase the full size of it. I do love from the drugstore, if you were looking for bang for your buck and you were looking for a drugstore loose powder, the Cody Airspun really can't be beat. However, if you have an aversion to scent, you are not going to like this because it is highly scented, but it kind of just reminds me of my childhood and I love the way it smells. Um, I find that it doesn't irritate my eyes. It works great setting my concealer and carving out my contour. And these are kind of like a two-in-one. This is the RCMA No Color Setting Powder. Um, I hate the packaging of this, but the price can't be beat. So I bought this little container from Amazon, and it has transformed my love of that powder. And this is the one I reach for most to set my under eye. I usually set my face with this and then put set my under eye with this. And I really think this combo is gorgeous. So I love using this powder. and It is so inexpensive, and it is just great for setting your under eye. And I have four from the drugstore that I use to set my face with. This one is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I also can use this as my under eye um, setting powder and it works fine. This is kind of just a stellar staple in my collection and I do not like the packaging. It's plastic, it's not great, but hey, for the price, you really can't beat it. My absolute favorite though of all time drugstore setting powders is this LA Girl Pro Face HD High Defini Definition Matte Pressed Powder. I love this stuff. I have gone through a few of them. I think this is my go-to setting powder. I think it's beautiful. It gives you just the right amount of coverage, if you, especially if you are looking for a little more coverage with a lighter weight foundation. Um, this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. When I first got this, I really thought that it was going to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Now you can see I have scraped the top off, and the reason I've done that is because I just am not sure. It feels very weird like I'm not picking up any product when I swirl my brush around but when I put it on my finger I can see that I am so I'm not sure I've, I've kind of changed my opinion about this I'm not sure it's as holy grail as I once thought it was but I'm going to continue to use it to see what I think about it this is a newer to me the Milani prep set and glow um illuminating transparent powder I am not sure what I think about this um I just recently got it. I'm going to continue to use it, but I'm not sure I love it as much as a lot of people have said how great it is. So I'm going to continue to try this out. So yeah, so those are my powders. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I would love to have you back here on a regular basis. And as always, I hope this video finds you having a fantastic day and a great week, and I will see you all soon. Bye, y'all.